I've been told a man named Jesus died for my sins. But greed, thievery, premarital breed is more than just temptation to me. What about adaption, survival, producing offspring? But the Bible says we are not animals, we are human beings. But evolution is a fact, and this I'm guaranteeing. But Artipithecus erectus and Habilis are not human beings. The hominoids, they did exist. Did they have a soul? Now that's what I call a twist. And what about the Neanderthals? Though we did not derive from them, it is known we interbred. I thought they were our cousins. That explains Kentuck nevertheless. <laughs> were our primitive ancestors soulless. You see, there's uh, evidence that these monkeys, though not human, had human qualities, had personalities, policies, perhaps families instead of colonies. Because when I observe an ancient burial site, I see they live with morality, not just quantity. Was this not enough? You bring out the curiosity in me. When contradiction sets in, I do a dangerous thing and think With the best intentions, I don't want to start a war Ridicule your beliefs, I just want to share with the world The curiosity in me, and exactly the way I think Because what if I told you, there was no first man There is no first soul I know that's hard to grasp, so I'm breaking down too slow For one species to give birth to another species Is virtually impossible But human evolution is virtually a fact We can see it in the fossils Now I'm not trying to blow your mind like the Greek Aristotle I'm just saying natural selection is incredibly gradual Think of all the possibilities, two million years natural. We see speciation between a wolf and a dog in a few generations, but accepting man's origin leaves many in hesitation, perhaps because it contradicts a creation, but if the facts contradict your salvation, there's nothing wrong with the facts, perhaps your consideration. I don't have the answers, and I don't disagree. I just want to share with the world curiosity in me.